Hey guys, I recently went to Home Goods and TJ Maxx and I actually bought quite a bit of stuff, so I decided to go ahead and film a haul and show you what I bought. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I got was this perfect cooktop glass cooktop cleaner and it was $4. Um, I haven't tried anything um, specific for my cooktop, but nothing that I have now works that well for it. So I thought I would go ahead and give this a try. I also bought four marble coasters and they were six dollars and it's a set of four. I've been on the hunt for a set of marble coasters and I've been looking at Pier 1 but they just seemed like they're more than I want to spend on a set of coasters. Um, I wanted to get two sets of four. They only had one that it didn't have a match. This one didn't. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye out for more but if not I'm okay with only having four. I Went ahead and got this cheese board with a cheese spreader. It's got like marble on the sides and then wood all down the middle. It was $13. Now that I'm married, I feel like I entertain more than I used to. And so I never, ha I don't really have anything like this for entertaining. And it kind of sucks when you're trying to put stuff out and you don't really have any good pretty things for it. So I saw this, it matches my style and I love putting cheese and crackers out, so I went ahead and got that. I am in the process of pretty much redoing the entire house and getting new furniture and redecorating. So um, one of the rooms is our guest bathroom and I have family coming and they're staying for two weeks and they're gonna be here soon. So I wanted to freshen up and go ahead and get that room finished. So um, I bought some new stuff for there. Um, I got these curtain rods and these are cool. I have never seen any like this. I'm sure other people have, I just haven't, um, where it hooks onto the rod and then it's got like a front part and a back part. I don't know if you can tell. But so you can put the pretty curtain on the front and then the liner on the back and if you want to wash the liner, you don't have to take every single rod or you know hook off the rod and take both of them off. You can just slip it off without messing with it. So that'll be nice. Also got two sets of these. They're indoor outdoor lights and the bulbs are plastic which was a concern of mine. I wanted to make sure that they wouldn't break. There's 20 lights in each one and it comes with two replacement bulbs. It was only $13 and my husband's birthday is actually on June 30th. He's turning 31 and so I wanted to have a little bit of a party because I'm going to have family here anyway that's staying for a visit so I decided that I'm going to do a little barbecue thing on our back patio and so I thought these would be nice to have so I got two of those. I also bought these kitchen towels, they're not for me but um, we're going to a wedding in July and then also a wedding in October so I'm not sure which who I'm going to give it to but I'm going to give it as one of the gifts for those weddings. It says I do what she says on the front and then the back says I do and there is two towels in there. Um, and so I just thought they were really cute. They were $7, but they're really thick. Like they feel like a really good quality towel. And I just thought those would be perfect for a wedding gift. I bought this notepad and it has a magnet on the back, which is not super important, but it's convenient for me. It was $4 on the top. It says work hard, play harder. I don't know if you can tell. Anyway, so I also, we... We have a Keurig and we used to buy the pods for it, but it just seems really expensive and I just feel like it's also really bad for the environment. It's a lot of waste. So we decided to buy one of those reusable K-cups and um, use that instead of the pods. So we have to have fresh ground coffee for that. And so I went ahead and bought this and it says coffee on the front of it and it's just like this, it kind of looks purple I feel like on the screen but it's actually like a light baby blue color so I'm gonna keep put the coffee in this and keep it on the counter for coffee in the morning it's another wedding gift let me scoot over because it's a, <laughs> a really big pillow so on the top it says 30 days till I do and then it just counts down the days and then till it says tomorrow is the big day and it's just a cute bridal shower gift and so I'm giving this to my best friend who's getting married in October um, at her bridal shower and then has this little, uh, uh, I don't even know what to call this, thing attached to it and then you can put it in each little uh, pocket on that day. So I just thought that was really sweet and something that would be fun to give for a bridal shower. I also went ahead and got this pot. It's got a really pretty design 
and I love this color. It was only $10, and when my mother-in-law came to visit, she brought part of the plant that was originally her mother, so my husband's grandmother, and she passed away, and so it's pretty special because it's the same plant that she had, and it's like a vine plant, so you can cut off the where it separates the tea and the, the tea in it, I guess. I'm not sure what to call it. And you can cut it at that and then put it into soil and it'll root. And so she gave me a few pieces of that plant. And so I want to go ahead and get a pot so I could get it potted before they die. <laughs> and so for the guest bathroom, I bought a new set of rugs. They're just, it's a set of two. They're the exact same. Um, the small one I'm going to put in front of the... Uh, vanity because we have all wood floors and so I just feel like sometimes in the morning you get out of bed and go in there and you don't want to stand on a cold wood floor you want something soft so I thought that would be nice and then the big one I'm gonna put in front of the shower just to make it a little bit nicer in there whenever we have the guests also for the bathroom I got this curtain shower curtain and it's just white and then it has this pattern on the bottom that looks like that um, and this is not waterproof and so I also got a liner and the curtain was $20 the liner was $8 and the liner is just a normal nothing fancy gray it is fabric I'm not a big fan of the plastic liners I know the fabric ones you have to wash more often but I would still rather have the fabric liner than a plastic one and this was a treat for myself because it was $17 but I've had my eye on one of these for a long time and I've seen so many people, especially on YouTube, that use these to organize their makeup. Every time I watch a video where someone shows these, I'm just like, oh, that looks so nice and so convenient. So I finally saw it. I thought this one was perfect because the drawers are all like one, three long drawers instead of six shorter drawers. And so I can put like palettes and things in there. And so I saw this and thought that this was perfect and I just decided to go ahead and get it. It was $17, but I think it's going to be worth every penny. And then the very last item is boring. It's just $3, um, like, flips for chips and things like that. Um, normally, I will buy these at the Dollar Tree, but I feel like the ones at the Dollar Tree, like, you don't have a wide variety of colors. They're, like, hot pink and orange and yellow, and I like things to be pretty neutral, and so I liked these because they were just gray and black and neutral, <laughs> not crazy colors. So I decided to go ahead and get these and they're metal, and so I think that they'll last a little bit longer than the plastic ones because I feel like those always break on me. So I forgot to mention this in the haul, but I wanted to show a couple more things too I forgot about. So this isn't from um, TJ Maxx or Home Goods. It was actually we got it at PetSmart, but it's like an holds two and a half gallons of water and there was even bigger ones and smaller ones we've got the middle sized one but it looks like a mason jar I don't know let's see if you can tell which I thought was super cute the other thing I wanted to show you was these stairs I have a wiener dog and it's bad for their backs to jump so we try to get her to use ramps as much as we can but I didn't want to put a big long ramp in the living room so we just got these little set of stairs they were thirty dollars at TJ Maxx so it won't hurt her back that's everything that I got thank you guys so much for watching this video I think I mentioned it in this video already but if I didn't I'm completely redecorating our house I've already bought in quite a bit of stuff but when I'm all done I'm gonna do like a house tour and and probably room by room I'll do a tour and tell you where I got everything I'm kind of doing like a farmhouse modern farmhouse I'll, not like a traditional farmhouse but like modern farmhouse theme and so if you're into that definitely don't forget to subscribe so that you can see when I do the tours and also I'm sure that I'll be doing more hauls like this whenever I slowly pick stuff up for the house so don't forget to do that and like this video and I will talk to you guys later I hope you all have a blessed day bye